<laughs> Someone did say, he's so much lighter than you. So I'm like, what are you trying to insinuate? That he's not mine? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going, we're going. Hang in there, hang in there. A few months ago, my wife and I ordered a Birch Organic mattress for our bed here in our bedroom. Honestly, I thought it sounded a little crazy ordering a mattress online without first seeing it in person and feeling it. But we decided to give it a shot because it's organic, wool comes from New Zealand sheep, latex naturally tapped from trees, and cashmere from goats, and no toxic chemicals. Plus, they have a 100 day money back guarantee. What did we have to lose, right? So, the mattress came in a box, and I thought, how in the world did they fit a mattress in this box? Did we order the wrong size? But once we opened it up, and it expanded, it almost exploded out of the box, it fit perfectly on our bed. Birch mattresses are hypoallergenic and mildew resistant because they're made with raw materials that are sustainably sourced. And over these past few months that we've been sleeping on it, we have slept great. <laughs> and recently my wife gave birth to our fourth child, Hezekiah. And it feels good knowing that he too is sleeping on a mattress without toxic chemicals ugh, and without synthetic materials. Hey baby brother. We love our Birch mattress and think you will too. Click the link below or go to birch.com forward slash fit farmer and get 20% off your mattress plus two free pillows. Oh uh, no. Oh no. Oh, you don't like it. It's okay. Look here. See? Almost done. Oh my Look, there's one arm. Here we go. Here we go. Let's zip you up. There you go. See? Better now. Look here. Now we just snappy snappy and we're done. Woo! We're done. Yeah. Come here. Oh no. Oh no. It's hard work being a baby, isn't it? Looking at your goofy sister. <laughs> You're so strong. Okay, Sayla, why don't you go ahead and get a burp cloth over there. Come here. Go to Sissy. Go. 
with a new baby in the house and we co-sleep so a new baby in the bed with us I got to thinking about our mattress and I wanted to protect it because we love it and we want to take care of it so I ended up ordering a waterproof cover from Birch to go on our Birch mattress and since we're crunchy type of people this isn't just any old plastic <laughs> mattress cover. What kind of mattress cover is this? What is it made of? It's two layers of organic cotton and with a thin waterproof layer in between. And we're upgrading to these organic sheets. They're organic cotton. Uh, we're really trying to get away from all of the synthetics and go with 100% cotton, organic cotton, because it's just so much better for you. And since we're electrical beings, there's numerous studies that show that organic and natural fibers, our bodies respond better to them. So we're electric. Waka waka waka. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, these do feel really good. I like that. I like soft sheets. Alrighty, got it all fixed up so you won't dirty up and yuck up our new mattress. Yeah, got him to sleep again. <laughs> Look how light he is compared to you. <laughs> Look, maybe one that's about my skin tone now. You know, I have been outside more with it being warm and working on my tan, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe not. Someone did say, he's so much lighter than you. So I'm like, what are you trying to insinuate? That he's not mine? I can guarantee you that he is. Yeah, I trust you. <laughs> We and do spend like every minute of the day with each other. <laughs> and they all look exactly like you. Yes. Just because you're a little bit lighter, I still love you. Yes, I do. Yeah. Come on, let's go do some chores together. And you know, it'll help him darken up in the sun too. It'll match you more. <laughs> Believe it or not, my ancestry is full with all kinds of people. Cherokee Indian, Scott Irish, African, and someone's even looked at my ancestry and said, there's a good chance you probably have Jewish in you as well. And when I was a little kid and little fella, like Hezekiah, I looked a little different. So, can you guess which childhood picture is mine? A, B, or C? Let me know in the comment section below. Mike wears a hat now, but years ago, whenever we were first dating, uh, he didn't wear a hat, and he was out in the sun a lot. And I remember we were driving down the road one day, and the sun was shining in the window and hitting his hair, and it had this red tint to it. And I was like, "Did you dye your hair?" And he said, "No." I was like, "Well, it looks like your hair is red." So, like, when we got married, we joked around all the time about, you know, wouldn't it be funny if we ended up with a red-headed, blue-eyed baby? And right now, Hezekiah has blue eyes and red hair. So, it's be really interesting to see if he keeps it or not. You know, and having a baby and going through all this again, it makes me think back of, you know, whenever I was a kid. So, here's some pictures for you. Let me know if you think I am number one, number two, or number three. Hezekiah got his very first piece of mail. Let's open it up. Here we go. Oh, tastes pretty good. Uh -oh. Oh, the 
Bible Promise book. And then... Oh. Look at these. They're so sweet. And they're nine months, so this will work out perfect. I was needing some clothes that were a little bit older for him. All of these are so cute. These are just so cute. I want to give a big thanks to Denise that sent us these for Hezekiah and to everybody else out there that has sent gifts for Hezekiah and for us as a family. We really appreciate it and you know the outpouring of love and we really love you guys for everything that you do. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Good job. It's pretty interesting that Lacey's dad has dark hair, but her mom doesn't. And neither Lacey nor any of her siblings came out with dark hair. All of them have light hair just like their mom. But I think that Micah here looks like Lacey's dad a lot. He actually resembles, I think, Lacey's dad and my great-great-grandfather, who was a farmer too. Here, chick, 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 here, chick, 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 here, chick, 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 chick. Inside the nesting box? Yep. <laughs> oh man. What did the geese did lay in there? <laughs> oh wow, that's crazy. Why do they bury their eggs? See well, buried treasure. They try to keep them warm and protected. Out of all of our children, I personally think Josiah is the one that resembles me the most. We both have the yellow, burnt, orange skin tone. <laughs> and we both have curly hair. <laughs> oh, there's an egg down there, you missed one. <laughs> that one just popped it out right on the ground there. <laughs> It might have been, we were holding up the nesting box and that chicken was like, I gotta get this egg out somehow, somewhere. Hold on, you hold that.
Still sleeping. Somebody is hungry here. <laughs> this is Tilly. She's one of the triplets that's born. But her mom wouldn't let her nurse, so I'm bottle feeding her. She is drinking it up. Yep. Little Tilly here. She'll just follow us around. She thinks she's one of our babies or something. <laughs> she doesn't know that she's a goat. <laughs> she'll just she'll hang out here with the goats during the day, but she will definitely she definitely prefers to follow us around. <laughs> more than hang out with the other goats here. She'll just come inside and start lifting her paw up like she wants some attention. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> Isn't it, Sayla? <laughs> yep, just like our dog. <laughs> and speaking of our kids, I think Sayla is like a combination between Lacey and I, a good balanced combination. She has a little bit of wavy hair and uh, she favors Lacey in some ways, but it favors me in some ways. But out of all of our children, I think her personality is most like mine. What would you say, Sayla? I guess. <laughs> is that a reluctant, I guess? <laughs> you see another little baby in there? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Somebody starting to wake up in here? You starting to wake up? You starting to wake up? All right, let's. Yep, that's a big yard. You stay with me all through chores. But you were napping the whole time. You didn't do anything. You didn't put up a bucket. You didn't grab any eggs. All right, probably hungry. You see little Tilly there drinking and you're like, man, it's about time for me to start drinking something too. All right, Uh-oh. You hit your expiration date with me. We gotta hurry up and get back inside. Huh? Oh. All right, hang in there. We're going. We're going. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're going. We're going. Hang in there. Hang in there. since we came in. Look at those blue eyes. Those eyes. Yeah? All right. I heard him coming. <laughs> here you go. Come here, baby. There you Come go. Come here, baby. We meet again, my friend. Oh. He saw Tilly bottle feed and he's like, I'm hungry too. Oh. <laughs> My poor boy, so hungry. He's like, all right, feed me. <laughs> this is so interesting. You got to check this out. <laughs> so I've been playing with this baby app here and I decided, let's see, let's put for the parents, me as a father and you as the mom. Because in the app you can, you can select who the father's gonna be, who the mother's gonna be, and it gives you a prediction of what the baby will look like based on the mother and father. So I did that. I took a younger picture of me, younger picture of you, and what were the results? Wow, <laughs> this child here looks exactly like Josiah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> 
<laughs> and the app also has an option that will predict what the child will look like when they're a teenager. And <laughs> it's like, whoa, that child, I could totally see Josiah looking like that when he gets That's to be a little bit crazy old. How Man, I cured it. Is. That's crazy. Yes, tell us about it. Tell us about it. It does look like Josiah. <laughs> but the app also has an option where you could select a baby girl. So I did it for Lacey and I for a baby girl. I was like, well, that little girl does look similar to Sayla. Her hair is not quite as wavy, but there are some similarities. Yeah, there are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come here. Always got to be moving around. Yeah. So I kept playing with the app a little bit more and I decided, let me try a newer, more recent picture of me just to see what the prediction was for a boy again. And I did it and I was like, whoa, that little boy looks like Micah. Surprisingly, I was like, wow, he looks, wow, that looks almost exactly like Micah. <laughs> so we'll just have to see what it is that you look like in the next few years. <laughs> yes. Yes. So big and strong. <laughs> Watch me hold my head up. There we go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Don't blow us away. Don't blow us away. <laughs> oh, and you remember earlier I said pick which picture you thought was from my childhood? Well, A was, well, I was playing around with this app, and let's just see. All there's, there's just crazy things that pop in my mind. So I just pick random people, celebrities. The first one, the father, for A, this is what A produced. It wasn't my baby picture. A was not my baby picture. The father was Bob Newhart, <laughs> and the mom was Whitney Houston. So they produced baby A. Who thinks of that? <laughs> just, just, just what That's goes so on. <laughs> and speaking of random, B was just some random baby <laughs> I found and I posted it. And C was me. Yes, C was me. And actually, when I was a baby, I was a lot lighter than my father as well. And uh, if you look at some of my other baby pictures, there are some similarities between my children, our children, and me as a baby. Just a little bit. <laughs> did you tell them what the answers were to your childhood pictures? No, I did not. You did not. Well, let's see here. So for Lacey, you had one, two, or three. The third baby was not Lacey. <laughs> it was actually a baby that was a combination between... Oh, don't laugh at me. Albert Einstein. <laughs> and Selena Gomez. <laughs> so that picture right there, three, was not lazy. No. Because I scream Albert Einstein and Selena Gomez. I just picked random people, like I said. And baby two was not lazy either. Baby two was a combination of baby that was predicted from William Shatner. <laughs> Captain Kirk Captain Log <laughs> Supplemental from Star Trek. Beam me up, Scott. <laughs> and the mom, Dolly Parton. <laughs> that was baby two. <laughs> Even his economy thinks it's awful. <laughs> and baby one was Lacey. That's me. <laughs> so I kept playing around with the app, and it does produce some weird results sometimes. Like I put in Mona Lisa <laughs> with Albert Einstein, and that child looked that unique we'll say <laughs> and also notice it does have some trouble with people with curlier hair so just something to keep in mind oh come here man come here uh, yes i love you even if you whether you look like one of those babies in the prediction app or not yeah right now you like you might be like look like blake griffin with blue eyes or something well, <laughs> we'll see what happens <laughs> Oh, and we almost forgot. You remember the birch mattress that, of ours that we showed you earlier in this video, as well as the mattress cover and the sheets? Well, you can check out the show notes below that link because right now there's a special on birch mattresses. Make sure you check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're supposed to be happy about that. Oh, well, changed his mind. Well, we're going to go outside and get some more sun. <laughs>